We're going to go get the cow. Yeah. Let's hope. So Curtis, can you help me just get that out of the water? Yeah. Get that out of the Yeah. Ready? Ready? Yeah, here we go. Yep. Okay, good luck, honey. Thank you. Have fun. All right, so Come back safe. Maybe you can walk around and follow me a little bit. All right, so I'm out here, and uh, this is the field where the cow, the cow's way over in the distance somewhere there. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm bringing her feed um, in a bucket, in a boat, and I'm assessing right now how deep it is so she can walk. And then there's a passageway, and maybe she'll um, decide that she's okay coming across, swimming across. So I just flipped the camera around, and she's way out over there somewhere. The water here is about a foot deep or so, so she could walk over here. But I'm going to try to see how far I can walk and see if it's easy to get to where she's standing in, uh, on, on high ground. The river is uh, in the flood stage right now, and it's going to stay in the flood stage for like next few days so if we can get her out that would be great now she notices that she's calling her calf boy that's that's the main channel of the mary's right there and it is busting over the banks right there willow you silly thing you're wet and skinny as can be oh willow oh willow Let's go get you. Come on, Toto. Come on, Willow. I got some feet. I got some feet. Y'all follow me out. That's again the main channel. The Marys is there, just busting out through this riparian forest into this field swale. Come on, Willow. Boy, she just keeps her putting head down, and eating. There's not a ton of feed out here for her you know it's a fescue field so it's something she'd survive a few days but she is hungry so I got a bucket in my kayak here that's got some feed concentrate in it and what I don't want to do is that let her have access to the whole thing I want her to kind of know I've got it but then follow me it's a lure so I kind of want to get there shake it and say come that's a good girl. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So I got a little dilemma going on. Here's my feed bucket. He loves this stuff. Here she is. I gave her a little treat for coming and following me through the water. She followed me across to this little island here from where she was. But the problem is her calf is way over there still. Toro. I don't know what to do about it. Hopefully she'll call and he'll come. He's been out here before. So I know he can get out here. Come on, Toro! And I gotta try to lead her through the shallows all the way across here. Uh, he's got, she's got milk in her udder, so that's good. I'm worried, she's so aggressive, she's so hungry, she's gonna like, you know, knock the boat over or something crazy, like, so, uh, I gotta try to stay ahead of her and not let her get too nuts going after the, feeding the boat. And Toro's running the other direction. Not good. I came back over to see if I can get the calf and he won't let me get too close to him. I'm gonna ditch it for the night. Left her feed, I'll come back tomorrow. See if I can get him out. Oh, she's not happy. I'm going bye bye. I'm sorry. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll get late. We'll get we'll get Toro. Bye, Willow. Oh, she wants Toro to come. She's calling him like, "Come on, this is the way out." She's smart. Go feed Toro. Ah. All right, so yesterday we went to try to see if we can get the cows out. The calf wouldn't come, so I'm just gonna start feeding them until the river gets low enough. 
And so here's the setup. I got hay now here in the boat, the front. I got the concentrate in the bucket in the back. And instead of going the long way around, I'm gonna just, just st straight across to where they are, which is right there. And um, the Mary's is busting out still, but it's, I don't look like it's that bad a flow. So I'm just gonna head right out to that little island where they, uh, they should be, I hope. That's where the Mary's is busting off its banks. Sailed across there nicely. Now I've got sort of a feed station set up. She's way over there. And she just crossed over to the other island and then started bawling at me when she saw me like, come over here. No, sorry. So her poops are looking okay. They're not um, completely runny. There is some form to them. And this ground is really nice and, and uh, well drained. So their feet should be okay. As uh, she's crossing over, you can see the water's only a couple feet deep. It's sort of up to her up to her belly at the deepest. It's not too bad. There's no current. So they could get out of here. But Toro's a little nervous. So she recognizes me, sees I've got some feed, and is heading my way. I'm gonna draw her all the way to where I've set up hay. If she's gonna eat this concentrate, I want her to eat it with hay as well. Good girl, good Toro. Okay, she's chasing me, she's running. So she, she really wants this stuff and I'm trying to get her to where I have the hay before she catches me because when she gets this bucket, she's gonna really want this bucket. Come on. Oh, Toro's running. I'm trying to outrun a cow, a Jersey cow who's hungry. See if I can do it. Come on, come on. You got this. Woo, good thing I'm in tennis shape. Here we go. You got hay. You got hay. Oh. Ah. Right to the bucket first. Whew. So there you go, I made out of a big pile of hay and then I poured out the bucket of concentrate on the mat and she seems pretty content for now. We'll see uh, when I come back tomorrow she's gone through all this. I'm sure she'll eat all the concentrate, see if there's any hay left. I seem kind of fascinated by the boat following me as I'm leaving. Bye there! Be good! It's pretty nice to have this little kayak. There's the Marys. Okay, I'm about to go over to the island where the cows are, and they're looking at me. They're waiting for me, so I better paddle forward. All right, out here again, feeding the cow and her calf, and uh, pretty routine at this point. It's the third day I've had to feed them, and they are waiting for me today. The river's gone down a little bit, but boy, it's going down slowly. I'm gonna explore a little bit and see how much further it has to go down before I think I can get him to walk out of here, which is gonna be actually that direction, because that's a really deep channel there. And this little bull just wants to play. So obviously they're not suffering too much because he's kind of a nut. Well, there she is, I'm just giving her some rubs. She's pretty warm and mostly dry actually. So that's good. Let's keep coming, mama. Gotta go that way. That's where home is. Home's behind me. She sort of stopped following me. I think she's worried her calf is so far behind. Yeah, he is way over there. She's bawling at him, he's bawling back. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep forging ahead and see if I can see a path through that's the, the straightest to the back to our place. So I'm holding on to a uh, maple tree here at the edge of the river. And that's the river busting out of its bank right here. And it's pretty cool. And I'll see you around. The cows are over there eating. And um, now I get to kayak out and I get to go into this lot of like, like rapids. It's pretty fun. And it just kind of carries me gently that, that way. And uh, I just push myself to the left and I come in and clear. 
So they've really been coming a long ways. I've been able to lead them quite a ways. We started way over there, and finally the little one's following me. And that's the river, the main channel of the river. So the field is empty right through here onto the river. And so I'm just kind of walking across the top of this, hoping I could get them to follow. But I may back out and go where uh, the flow is less severe. That's what I try to do. I'm gonna try to back out and go somewhere else. It's getting a little deep. All right, try another route. And they're following me. They came from way back over that way. And this looks like it might be the right way to go. Well, that went up to my uh, kind of upper thigh. Toro's in the water, see if he crosses. Come on, Toro, good boy, boy. There we go, following Mama. There we go, come on. Pretty good, he's following her. There you go. Come on, Toto. Come on. Come on out. This way. She's going quite diagonal. Maybe the current's pushing her. She doesn't like the current on her broadside, maybe. There we go. There we go. Now she's getting into shallow water. Okay, home free. At least for this part of it. Good job, good job. Well, I'm almost into this, this weird area where I'm not sure how to get through with them because there's a deep water channel over here and this is sort of briar and woods. Maybe they know a way through. Maybe this is how they got out here. So I'm kind of following their lead right now. I may venture into the woods, see if I can find a path. Well, they didn't go through the woods there. They kind of just followed the field line. And you see all this bramble here. And then we get to this crossing, which I know is really deep. So I'm not sure what to do at this point because we're trying to basically go home that way across this other field. And if we get across here, I know there's a gap in the fence that we can easily pop over and get home. I wonder if she'll just start going and see, see what happens. The little dude swam through there. It got up to my chest. It's, it uh, maxed out my chest waders. And so I think we can, I can walk him home now. He is something wet. But cows can swim pretty well. He just... It was nice weather and he, his mom was going and worked up the gumption. Good job. So the cows are um, over there munching after they made the crossing and they crossed basically upstream from there a little ways. Um, that's on the neighbor's property just to the south and this is the this is the croft property. So I just crossed over to the new property through a gap right there in the hedge and I'm just kind of testing. I want to test the waters here so to speak see if uh, See if it's shallow or deep, and uh, see if it's reasonable to try to get them across this. We basically have to go over that way. Uh, she wouldn't. She stopped coming, so I put the last lasso on her, and um, you know, trying to be patient, but also being a little aggressive and pulling her and saying, "Get it, get, come with me." So she's starting to starting to obey. I don't have a dog or anything to really scare her and. Um, but I kind of I can't let her push me around either, so I think it's starting to work. Come on, cross right here. But Toto is a little more reticent. I think he got cold and he's like happy. He's not. He's dry and warm again. He's got to come. Oh, good. Toto cross. Toto cross. So here we go. Here we go. We seem to have an agreement here. I'll let her put her head down and eat a little bit. And then I give her a tug and say, let's go. And she starts to move. So a little rough at first. She was not happy to be roped. Oh, that's seem good. There we go. There we go. Finish it. Let's finish it. Atoro! Atoro! Hi, girl. Hi, girl. 
Almost there. Come on. There you go, there you go. There you go. Good turtle, good swim. Good swim. There you go, there you go. There you go. Good frisky turtle. Good frisky turtle. Well, they're back. Um, I think it all started because these latches, cows, cows can take their tongue, and if the latch isn't tight enough, they can work it out. So the key is to get a latch that locks or to put a lot of tension on these things so they can't, or they can't undo them, which makes them a little harder for, you know, humans to undo too. But I think that's what I've got to do because uh, that, was, that was epic, epic epic uh, week. Video proof. They're fine.